Chief Justice order banning fo photos filming outside two Arizona court buildings is unconstitutional. That's the headline from Tucson.com. Taking photos outside the Arizona Supreme Court in Phoenix or the Court of Appeals building in Tucson could now land you in jail. In a new order, Chief Justice Robert Brutonell prohibited any type of video recording, photography, or live broadcasting from, from areas around the building. That includes the entrance, entrances, steps, patios, and sidewalks. Now there's a problem right now, sidewalks. If he's talking about the public sidewalk on public access by the roadway, that's a problem. If he's talking about sidewalks around the, that are on the property, that could still be a problem. But let's go on. The order is an extension of the existing rules that prohibit any type of video recording inside the courtrooms and in the two courthouses without first getting written permission. What it also is, according to Dan Barr, is unconstitutional. Barr, a lawyer who specialized in First Amendment law, said he understands the desire of Brutonell to keep the steps clear to allow people to come and go freely. And court spokesman Aaron Nash said that there has been problems with some protesters. But Nash conceded there are no rules against people standing in front of the courthouse or even on the steps to protest or hold banners as long as they do not block access to the building. What that means is that the new order still allows for the protest, but the only ones would be but the only ones who would be in violation and Subject to arrest are those who are taking pictures of the protest, particularly if they, too, are on the steps. The courthouse, the court certainly has the power to ensure that people can walk in and out of the courthouse unimpeded, Barr said, but that has nothing to do with people taking photos of them. And then... There is the legal issue of banning photography outside the courthouse. Yes, there is a legal issue there. I think this judge is overstepped. Let's go on. That's more than problematic, Barr said. It's unconstitutional, he said. However, did this, I don't think really, th whoever did this, I don't really think thought it through. Well, we know who did this. Chief Justice Robert Brutonell. That's who did this. Nash said the measure isn't aimed at the media and isn't designed to keep reporters and photographers from documenting what occurs on the courthouse steps, whether it's a new news conference or a protest. It's more aimed at those who would intimidate others. Barr said, though, that's not how the order is worded, and it's not. And we know what they'll do. These idiots with badges and these employees will approach people on the sidewalk out front where they have no jurisdiction to tell these people what to do and what they can't do. But these idiots will come out there anyway. They will intimidate. They will harass, arrest, and maybe even get violent if you don't kiss butt. You put photographers in, in this untenable position of wondering whether they're violating the court order and doing a routine part of their job, Barr said. The order says that any court staff or security officer who observes someone in violation will verbally advise the offender, provide a written copy of the order, advise the offender, provide a written copy of the order, and direct the person to immediately stop and delete the recording. That's bullshit. My delete button is broken. If the person does not stop, he or she will be ordered to leave the facility. And if the person does not comply, the court official will call law enforcement. 
with charges including criminal trespass, disorderly conduct, and harassment. The only criminal here is that judge. Nash said the order is designed to deal with a real problem. The issue, I think, is abuse of and intimidation and blocking access, he said. But the order is aimed not at the demonstrators, but at those who are documenting it. If that's how the order really reads, we'll have our legal group look at it, Nash said. The intent is not to infringe on the First Amendment right. No, I think the intent is to. Brutinelli's order says one reason for the order involves protecting the identity of those who participate in court processes as well as those that foster care review boards, which meets in that building and other buildings, which meets in that and other buildings. It says pictures can put those persons in jeopardy expose them to embarrassment and intimidation and discourage participation in the judicial process. Well, what this judge is doing is setting up people to be embarrassed, intimidated, and discouraged to participate in the First Amendment and possibly be arrested, beaten, tased, shot, by these idiots with badges who will not pay attention to what the law says, will not apply it properly, and don't care. The order, however, does not cover su superior court buildings throughout the state, where virtually all civil and criminal cases are handled, but only the buildings where the appellate court hearings, as well as the hearings of foster care review boards. Issues of the courthouse steps aside, Barr said there are another there's another significant problem with the order. The inclusion of the sidewalk in the area where Brutonel order says court permission is required to take place. And that is where the problem comes in. Despite the other problems, the problem is they're extended out on the sidewalk public access, public right-of-way, which where it shouldn't be and they can't, this judge has no authority to do shit about. It will be misused, abused, and I'm telling you, I think the police officers better look at it closely because it might, if they go out there on that sidewalk and start harassing people, arresting people, threatening people, ticketing people, trespassing people from that sidewalk, that could get them in trouble. That's a traditional public forum, he said. There's a long stretch of constitutional law by the U.S. Supreme Court that you can't regulate what goes on in the public forum except in a reasonable time, place, and manner restriction, Barr explained. And that's not what's going on. This is any time for... It, it doesn't have any of that, so... He screwed it. The judge screwed up there, too. That can range from regulating crowd size and keeping competent demonstrations apart to prohibiting the use of, uh, of bullhorns, amplifiers that would interrupt the business inside the building. But, the, but this just says anybody can't take a photo unless you have the previous okay from the chief justice, he said. And, and that said, Barr, is just impractical. Well, it's not just impractical. It's unconstitutional. And it's going to get a lot of lawsuits done if, they don't be, if they're not careful. All right, there's not much more there, and y'all can read the rest of it yourself if you want to, and you can find that over at Tucson.com. But this is a major problem. This idiot judge, Brutonelle, had just declared war on the First Amendment. He doesn't care. Or didn't think it through. But if he didn't think this through, then he's an idiot and he shouldn't be a judge in the first place. You don't get to that level of being a judge and be an idiot. You, at least you shouldn't be. But this guy is an idiot. And if 
he gets away with this, you're going to see it happening all over the place because we know how judges are. They don't like cameras any more than the cops do. In fact, maybe worse because it exposes them to their corruption and the shit they get away with. Now, hopefully, this is too far away for me, as usual. Hopefully, some of the people that are out in that area maybe get together, maybe even talk to this uh, lawyer, Barr, and let him know you're going out there and see if he wants to, you know, back y'all up as far as legal advice and counsel if they do something. I mean... There may be some other lawyers in the area that you can get in touch with first and just go to the side one. Now, here's a picture, and I'm not even going to talk about, as far as I'm concerned, you should, if a protester can be on these steps, then so take care of a photographer. And that's a problem. But with that aside, even if there's a, maybe they're talking about that one of the courthouses has sidewalks, on the property, and they're talking about that, but that's not the way it's worded, and that's not the way it sounded, and that's not the way the police are going to take it, and that's not the way that the employees are going to take it. If you're out here on the public sidewalk, they're going to come after you. And we know how stupid the cops are. They're not going to even pay your attention. They're just going to say, well, the judge said, I'm just doing what I'm told. Anything for a paycheck, anything for money, they don't care. And since they've got qualified immunity, which this one could possibly strip them away if they're not careful. All right, so anyway, hopefully some of the auditors out in the area or with traveling distance can get together and maybe go out there and do something because I think this one's probably best done by a group. But uh, that's up to y'all. I didn't know if any of the, the, the people from that area, the auditors from that area saw this, so I'm just putting it out there and let y'all know. But if this goes on here, it's going to go, and he gets away with it. This Chief Justice Robert Rudinell, if he gets away with this, it's going to happen all over the place, and they're going to extend it to every courthouse. So this this is where it's got to be nipped in the bud. All right, that's PNP News. I'm out of here. Thanks, guys. We'll talk to you all later.